Yeah, there's there's uh, there's definitely kill potential as well, right? Like through the game, early on and later on as well with some impale, uh, stun, double edge. There's also stampede to get on top of him easily. I I, I share your concerns uh, when it comes to when it comes to the lane and when it comes to the things in general. But um, all that said, if he has a good game, if he has a lot of farm. He, can also be a big nuisance for for them on the radiant side because they don't they have some catch with the line it's not unplayable for clinks where are you putting the ships there brother where is this uh where's this one gone it's uh we're going to two zero or are we going to uh another game three that we rarely get i'm not sure like it, it it's a bit harder for me to call this one you know, I was really certain seconds, when they were battle. playing versus G2A. I ha G2A. G2IG. <laughs> Blast <laughs> from the past. Oh my god. It took me 10,000 years to close that goddamn account. <laughs> Are you sure you want to close? Yes. Are you really, really sure? Yes, I want to close it. Are but we are going to be sad. I don't care. And then they ask you again, but they switch. Yes is on the red and no is on the green and then you click no because it's green and you're like <laughs> sneaky sneaky the worst company ever like <laughs> it came to canceling your membership for anything <laughs> that's a lot of hate the resentment uh, that has built I up forgot. over the years <laughs> i forgot about it completely it just like randomly came to my mind now that i misspoke Okay, you can leave that in the pass. Leave that in the pass, brother. That's how we. Uh... It's it's over, right? Like I can I can forget about it. Yeah. Mix. Come here. Oh, this is uh, <laughs> it's not good, is it? This is this is not good. This is if not I the way it's gonna. Get a range if it goes to the low ground. Oh, it's not even gonna matter. Bark. It's the long right click off. He's got more movement speed. Three hundred and ten versus two hundred and ninety. Who gets on top of him? They're pretty much saying he's. Yeah, he, he's. <laughs> is this the way the lane is supposed to start? Your carry dies? Or no? Yeah. Not right. Yes, yes. Yes. That is exactly how it's supposed to start. Yeah, this is probably for the best hero as well. Like, Centaur gets it, puffs himself up with some bracers straight up into the lane. Starts bodying people. You're very happy if you're uh, Bach. I feel like our lanes are kind of snooze. Like bottom looks boring. Up looks. Uh, actually, I mean, there's an edges profit. What am I saying? I mean, MP can definitely add a little bit of you know extra extra sprinkle on top of some spice, some rotations, but. Mm -hmm. It's up, to, it's up to the nature's problem. Yeah, he's definitely the difference maker, right? Like he can uh, uh, lay, probably, right? Lagging a bit. He can make some uh, rotations down bot. Like you have Enchantress. She's dishing out a lot of damage. She's uh, most likely going to be taking them very low on resources. So then you TP. <clears throat> you kill her off if she's overstepping her boundaries. There's the DK stun into arrow as well on the same lane. So stuff can happen, definitely. Top lane as well, a lot of kill potential between FY and Bach. Give me a give me a call. Like, tell me. Who's winning this one? And be 100% sure, because I'm... Um... AR. AR? Okay. <laughs> I I just needed to know. Okay. Why is, is this to help sway you in one direction? Yeah, exactly. Now, now I can build this whole narrative about why they have to win. <laughs> Makes it easier. Have we, uh, have we spoken about Stampede and Rolling Thunder? Have you brought it up yet or no? No. Oh, He's TPing already. Yeah. Where's he going? Mid. Oh. He was uh, TPing mid for. 
But I've, uh, I got you, brother. Don't you worry. I'll, I'll let you know where he goes. Yeah, you know I saw him uh, TPing. Yeah. I saw him TPing, but I'm a boomer. I don't see everything. No, it's okay. You got two people here to let you know. Oh, whatever you miss, we'll get. But, no, I, 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 you this AR draft. I, I don't know. I just like it. I mean, you also, you keep on first blood to bark. I really feel like he's going to free farm this lane. Mm -hmm. I... What do you make of the boots, though? I guess the boots is for kill threat onto the the range heroes. He feels like he doesn't need extra damage. I mean, Klinks has only got 55, making 61 damage now. Some stats coming out. Uh, what do you mean? You mean uh, that he's getting late boots, or...? No, do you like the boots now? Like, I thought he might go for... Well, I, yeah, there's... Sometimes we don't see... Like, we see offlaners go for... A lot more stat heavy build. I, I know the centaur is kind of a little bit different to I some of the others, is, but you, know, you might even get him like this without the boots. Okay, the blood grenade uh, prevents him. Um, I think he's got enough. Like he's got a ring of protection and a bracer. Like he's already kind of kind of stocked up. It's not double bracer, nothing like that. No vanguard. Mm -hmm. And uh, with these items now, with the the boots, like you said, start be coming to fully with that fly. Are you lagging at all, or is it just me? No, it's just just uh, do it DC. It's just classic. Find a connection sometimes. Maybe some issues. I had it last game. I think I had oh, it. Oh, the double stun from F5 oh, feels good. Yeah, this top lane is not fun for Erika. Mid lane, however, is uh, very nicely played by 7e. He is actually even winning the CS against Razor. That's why Pangu is picked, of course, into Razor. You, you're one of those heroes that can get away from him with Swashbuckle. They're sending the Setar Mind Stealer mid to take his mana. Come here, 7e. Oh, yeah. That's so annoying. Do you remember uh, when Chen would send the Harpy mid and just win the lane on his own? That was so dumb. Oh god, thank- actually thank the lord we don't have this dumb like 2v2 mid lane anymore. Bro. I, I what, hate What do you mean 2v2? That. He just sends a Harpy and that's it. Just a Harpy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm, that was a bit, yeah. No, I, I remember what you're saying, but also when, like, you had those annoying, like, your Lich and Bane supports that were just babysitting their mid laners. It's just Please. Like, get me don't, out. It's just... Don't re don't remind me, that's the last patch I played professionally. Oh, <laughs> <That's>, okay. <laughs> I, I, dude, I he started hating life. I was that Lich eating creeps behind tier uh, 2 tower. Oh, man. Yeah, it's just so shit to watch. It just wasn't enjoyable. And like, you know, the the last patch that I think was just as bad was when we had the off lanes just dodging lanes and having the jungle lane inside the river or whatever. Like with the, oh, the dragging the, the wave. With dragging the wave, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, it, was just, it was just boring. <laughs> but we don't get that. What? You weren't getting that anymore, so it's fine. Uh, do you remember some item that you could build? From Quelling Blade, do you remember that? Yeah, I do remember that item. We speaking yeah, yeah. of that. Uh, wait, I forgot the name. It's ha Iron Talon? Iron, yeah, there we go. Iron Talon, yeah. yeah. Top lane, Enchantress is, is rotating in top. Mm, go a little bit early. They want to die, they're gonna creep though. They're gonna no, creep, they're gonna play with the slow instead. Bach goes around the tree lane. And the landing of the stun. That'll be the second kill, and Bach's gonna be able to continue to tank as well. And it's just Ponlo, and Ponlo ain't gonna be able to do too much. In fact, he'll get some love taps from Tian Ming, and maybe, maybe he can. Maybe he can. A... Let's see. Can he get the kill here? Aaron needs oh. to be in the mob. Hard one. Yeah, he he really wanted the enchanters, but I think he could have got. Ah, uh, okay, he couldn't get FY. I wasn't checking. Look at his wand charges. <laughs> Twenty wand charges. Oh. Yeah. Where did that come from? We need, we need the Rolling Thunder for it. They're going to have the Nature's Prophet TP in, though. Look at them just split away. Bach, who's kind of down to the south, the line. No way. Is Bach... Oh, oh did he get knocked to the high ground? And he can! How unlucky! Oh. That's so unlucky, because that's exact... Yeah, he even pings he it. He even it. pings it. That's literally why he did that. 
He thought he's gonna get pushed to the high ground, so... To escape, but okay. What about uh, Prophet? Does he have a TP? He doesn't have teleportation, so... Wisdom Rune shall not be stolen. Precious bounty. Nice rotation by Pango. By the way, yes. if you just let him kill the lion and you run, I'm pretty sure you're alive on Centaur. But they tried. They really tried rescuing lion there. Oh wow, aggressive glyph as well for AR. So they're gonna get ZZQ on the Sprout. And yeah, how are you gonna react now? Pomlo's already used his TP, you've already used Rolling Thunder, so there will be no response to top. And... Uh, it's so frustrating because who cares about bottom? You have a spend that's just going to shove the lane out and go jungle. You don't need a support to play with low. Maybe you can uh, move the Dragonite through, no? Or, the problem is you don't want to. Usually this hero just wants to be popping his form, pressuring the tower. So far he's not doing it, but here we go. So, okay, you're rotating a lot of heroes. Stop, but Dragonite... Inside the ring. Oh. Seven E's in a lot of danger, man. Oh, wow, they actually got the kill? Ooh, was not expecting that. Well played. Perfect chain control from FY. Nicely, nicely done. So far, FY has been on point. Now one of the best line players in the world. Uh, not surprising. A chance to stop again, by the way. This is a dead clinks. That's what the boots are for, by the way. The I'm going to after they get the kill top, we'll have to jump back bottom super quickly. Why is I still staying alive kill, for long enough, so the rotations onto low are going to be a little bit too slow to actually protect him. And then what's easy, Q's looking for his own kill and the urn and blood grenade combo. We'll actually get it, so not bad in the end. I mean, your, your clinks is getting absolutely bodied but you get a very important kill on the hero that was top net worth before the death yeah and you're trading evenly like tier one for tier one razor is uh moving in top lane maybe he can find his q dude these phases are paying off super hard yeah it's really cool the TI winner right here, Radiance ladies and gentlemen. This is some perfect itemization. Lace, phase boots, Dyer's all the movement speed you would need. Very, very cool raid from Bach. It will be said. Oh, mid lane. Just enchantress. It will be said. I mean, not, it's nothing crazy. We do see this item often. It's just like sometimes it's not rushed like it has been this game. Sometimes I can make or break. If you're able to get these early kills and early advantage, another 5 potentially, 7 8. Now, this would be a really big one on Tori. He's had a great start so far this game. Up, 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 up. <laughs> oh, he caught up. 7 8 shots able to clip him before he gets it's to lame. the bottom of the stairs. Now, Beyond's even going to be able to connect onto FY. They're bleeding a couple of kills here, and this tower as well still a third duration left for Beyond. Uh, they they came here to play. Team Zero's draft definitely allows them to, to make these plays. Prophet just being active across the map like he should be. I love this. I actually think that uh, they're way more mobile on Team Zero. And they were way more flashy with the heroes. Like You you can expect more plays to come from a Pangolier than from a Razor in general. And uh, that's what you're seeing at the moment. How many stacks do they have? They have some ancient stacks, right, for this man to recover. Not really recover, just to farm. They got a couple. I think it's a ward, maybe? At the, uh, yeah. the triangle, the other ancients don't have any at the moment. Uh, we are... Uh, if you play not completed for 70. And you've taken two T1 towers, I mean, they are in a great position. I was a little bit concerned about AR's movements. In the early game, you know, the, the Enchantress coming through the portal and really shutting down the cling spot. He's actually not that bad in net worth, all things considering. It's going to be another Deso game as well for, for YSR. Edge. And another death. Yeah. Nice rotations from Team Zero. They're playing the map very nicely right now. Centaur did 
Wingate, true, but uh, it's, he might even die here. Mirana? He can't TP because of Mirana. I mean, the arrow is a problem. Not stampede, and... but it's like, where does he run? Yep. And blinks back up in a couple of seconds for beyond, so yeah. Buck's gonna go down. The only thing they really can do is try and make their own play on the opposite side of the map. This and is a we'll vessel. It's like full vessel um, completed on ZZQ. Okay. I mean, the game is looking completely in their control at the moment. But, yeah, like you said, opposite side of the map, FY and Ori. Can they even kill this sometimes? They can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he does. Of course. They got Zap if they need it. And DD as well for Ori. It's just that it, I feel the 1 2 combos on Team Zero are abundant. Like you can play the game with almost any two heroes. Meanwhile, on, on Radiant, it's much, much harder to, to make stuff happen. You're waiting for this blink on uh, Centaur and perhaps blink on FY as well. But FY, okay. I'm actually going for Lotus. Okay, Aether, yeah, switch, switching things up. I was interested, like, that would be the, literally the first time I see Lion rushing Lo Lotus in, uh, in this patch. Not in this patch, in like a year. Smoke cut. Where are they looking to connect to, though? On the Ori, maybe, yeah. Probably give them some vital information onto Ori farming aggressively. And this is going to be a big kill for them to find. And, and like you've been praising, their movement so far from Team Z have been really on point. I don't think they'll get FY though. He'll be able to TP up. Yeah, since the you know, first six minutes were like all Azure, then ever since then, they've been looking very clean. Now, the, the one person who's been pretty much untouched is low. I mean, he's only got one death. Mm -hmm. Net worth though here for this Fen. And is this a game where you. you is this a game where you feel like Team Zero are going to be a bit concerned about how much farm the Sven is getting? Not really. I, I think you should always be concerned about Sven, but this isn't a particular game in which you're crazy uh, to stop the Sven. You have your friends later on as well, and I think you can match them up very nicely. And the clinks with the Dazzo as well. We'll start hunting very soon, taking heroes down. I don't know, I feel that they are... Their draft is a little bit too... What's the right word? Like, I feel like they don't have enough spells. <laughs> That's it. Like when you look at them, the way they run across the map and what they're doing, they're just trying to dodge at the moment. Maybe get some kills with the smoke. But uh, that's about it. It's so much easier to play if you're dire at the moment. Would you like Tian Ming to be a little bit more greedy this game and try and farm so he can get items? Because he's currently quite poor on the enchantress. We don't really see this too often. I'll hold that thought because I think they scouted out Ori with Pondo's position up on the high ground. Nice scan. That actually might get him out as a result. Yeah, does he just go for the random arrow? Oh, I'm just thinking about it, but it'll be too late regardless if he's casted it straight away. It was a perfect arrow, but too late. Yeah, I would like, I, I, I'd always like to see an Enchantress have more farm because uh, it's so easy on you, especially when you go for this build in which you have an enchant maxed out. Like, it's so easy for you to find items. You just enchant a range creep and you can easily push in. Okay, and if he does get his farm then, well, what is the build? Because there is kind of, you know, two different builds you go for. One's a little bit more utility and like auras, and the other is like we saw earlier today with Babokas and a right-click heavy Enchantress build. He's doing, he's doing the um, utility build, he's buying mech already, so he has decided. Radiant um, but I also think that this is the right move, because um, you die really quickly in these fights. You're not, a, you're not an enchantress that's able to... You know, in some games, you're a support edge, but you just cannot die. So they even ignore you, and that's why you push out so much damage. But uh, in this game, you get blown up very quickly. Maybe it's nicer to buy some mech, some pipe, use it on your allies before you fall. Bangalier, they have a blink. But oh, they're a bit indecisive. It looks like Ori wanted Five. nothing to do with that initiation. Maybe they just actually wanted to force out some reactions? I'm not quite sure. I think so. I think so as well. They were, they were more than anything else just forcing 
Maybe a TP, maybe we run ulti and now they smoke all together. Wings has Dazzo, but... Let's see, they should see 7e soon if they plant this ward. Yeah. And they're gonna be able to blow him up. And the other one. By that burst potential and also the nature's profit's gonna evaporate as well. Uh, five heroes leap out of the jungle and now rewarded with a T1 tower as well. Yeah. If you're all together playing this game, it's fine, they do lose the ward immediately, and uh, they do use God's strength, so Swen most likely will go back to farming. It's not far from Max, by the way, top lane. Ooh, very much out of range. Polna should be able to escape. A nice attempt, you know, you're trying to use that Impale not on target, but on ground to reach the Mirana. Uh, as you know, she's about to leap out anyway, so... Nice attempt, at least. The game did slow down quite a lot for Team Zero. I feel like they needed to uh, ramp it up and continue playing very aggressively, but uh, they allowed they allowed Radiant, they allowed Azure to control the ball. They did just smoke under a ward as well, so Radiant are well aware of what's going on. It's Yan Ming, and maybe that's the only thing they're gonna get. This is quickly through the portal, which might be the case. <gasps> oh my god. Wow, that was close. With Dezo? This is... Fast enough, I would say. Or he is... Pinching off his BKB. He should be right there. And they're all showing, so... Yeah, this is... It. Testing the sages. Free version it is. And they are gonna give this one to 70. So Pingra having the second life now to work with. Mm -hmm. I saw maybe not wanting to still be too active pre BKB. They wanna fight though on Azure. Oh, they're around mid. Lou is showing. Beyond's gonna jump. Now they're going to be able to follow up with 70 as well. Mark gets an even better account initiation of the Dragon Knights just gone! This is supposed to be your tanky hero, but up low turns. Gets a kill on Disease EQ, and now that's where the long range sun's able to come into place. Have fun with the ages, brother. It's gone straight away, and you're going to die a second time as well. Perfect. Ooh. Oh, okay, yeah, maybe. Okay. I mean, uh, it's very cute. Very, very cute, but. They'll make him work for it, it's not going to matter in the end. Azure, they find three. Nice stun from FY, FY max distance there to catch him inside the river. And this what will was, be... What, what was the idea um, behind initiating on Sven there? Uh, you don't have enough control. Where was Mirana? Maybe with an arrow, it's some long, long ass stun. Maybe you can, but you didn't have that. If you had Dragonite and you had Pangolier, but you cannot stun control those. But if you blow up blue there, which is what I thought they were going for. Okay, you can take that fight, but, but without blowing him up, that, that's just suicide right there. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, we see how... The, the price they had to pay, though, for that misjudgment of the team fight for Dyer. A very, very costly price. Waste the Ages advantage, 4,000 gold, Azura go back. A very efficient Ori with a region rune is able to find the Tormentor at the timing of the Wisdom as well. You get the Shard now for Lion. And FY's almost got Blink too. So, you know, he hasn't been playing with so far this game and, and now you're about to have that. You just got a Shiva's. Their timings are... These items, they're getting picked up at a fast rate, and we are... You know, for Dai, we're not seeing that. YSR still trying to find this BKB. The Pengu had a great start to the game, I think, has died... two times in a row, maybe three, so his net worth mm -hmm. has kind of taken... A, you know, a bit of a downpour as well. It's, it's definitely slowing down, so... Yep. So it's the scary I, right now. The way I imagine this game going is... Uh, Dai is just constantly pressuring the, the enemy side of the map. 
preventing them from ramping up and getting to this point, but your clinks has been pretty much AFKing for some time now. Uh, what is going Laser? on between these two? Is EZQ actually almost solo killing Ori? Are you serious? He's just dead! Not almost. Oh, he... <laughs> what? He killed him, yeah. Radiance middle tower is Where's his TP? <laughs> oh no! Got a Gary TP, brother. Yeah, I, I think that's the egg shot. That's the, the damage shot that we're showing. That shot is so dumb on Nature's Prophet. That's <laughs> so dumb. Radiance top tower has fallen. Oh, okay. Radiance middle tower is under attack. The ancients were hitting him as well, right? I saw the dragon helping the brother out. Oh, the brother needed it. <laughs> he needed the 1100 the damage they apparently randomly did there. Bottom lane, Azure. I smoked in at the remnants of this tier 1 tower, looking to try and predict someone farming the right side. Unfortunately, it's Tian Ming that actually runs into the, the DK, so a bit of an awkward time. Oh, by the way, you can take one of the illusions for yourself on edge from the DK, so that's also nice. Mm. Additional, uh, and the other one can get hexed or mana burned, or mana drained. What if they come in the back line, DK again. He, he's just not strong at this game. I mean, this hero usually is so difficult to be able to kill, but Radiant is showcasing that is not the case in this game. Finger, God Strength. Happy with Pop and these abilities. Yeah, he gets controlled, killed off instantly. Stun locked basically. No BKB on him yet. He needs to find it somehow. Dyer's what do they need? They need this Agonims on 70. He's about to complete it. He needs what he wants to go and he's got it. Prophet, he can in the back. They can kill they can kill the engines, right? Right? Yeah. They're responding though. No God strength. Remember. Is this a fight that they want to Dyer's take in here? Looks like they're kind of indecisive. I mean, they're gonna be able to catch up to ZZQ on the Nature's Prophet. Meanwhile, the remnants of the Rolling Thunder will enable 7E to be able to retreat. YSR's already out of there as well. But uh, I'm just seeing a full item difference compared to the carries right now, and it's very concerning. Low is going Daedalus next. There's not ever been a question of damage issues, and that will continue to be the case. And when does this Clinks really start to, to pack a punch? I feel like it should already be there. Like, this is the build, this is the moment. He's buying the small crit, which will help you out. Bottom lane, Bark. Nice reactions. No Stampede, they might be able to continue chasing. This, I, I've seen this movie before. Literally, the same thing happened. Yeah. Prophet now yes. in. And again? Yeah, so it's there. Yeah. Same place, even. <laughs> Dyer's top tower has fallen. Uh, I think a top at least. Something. Did... Yeah. That's like what he popped his ulti for, right? So I just take the tower. Yep. Yep, yep. Don't worry. What did they say? The plasma field? Yeah, they did. That they did. Ori. He's got bad too late though. Once they get the first line out, he. Oh, he still used it. Bit of a, a miscalculation on the damage that was going to come through regardless, and Ori will go down. Uh, it's just two big kills. I mean, this game is uh, its very kind of back and forth. Like, Team Zero, get a couple fights that go their way, then all of a sudden seems kind of even. AR, mm -hmm. they bite back. Then they're like, hang on a second, this network's like going, and then all of a sudden Team Zero gets some pickoffs, and now we're only 3,000 ahead for Radiant. Let's see the both teams have got a takes and run up. It's all about who goes in first and initiates, really. Um, you asked if this Klinx has... When is he going to be able, be able to carry a punch? Like he already does, it's just that he's not hit. He's never joined. Oh, seven he's in trouble. Ooh. Well, is it enough for him to join the fights now with this? Of course, sure it is. It is, it is. It's, all, it, it, it's just the control. They need to jump the target together. Like, even a Sven can die. Uh, especially pre God Strength, of course. You jump him, it, it, it's, 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 it's
Radiance top tower is under attack. Tier 2 tower down. Both sides, yeah. Tier 2 top, tier 2 mid. Like your prophet is buying eggs next. Like he's getting uh, bigger and bigger. I really am not sure why this hero just started being completely ignored. He just brings so much to the game. Ooh, are they going to go for this Tormentor? Ponlo's already set up. They will know though. Yeah, that Tormentor's starting to strike Ponlo. Did he see? Oh, he sniped it. Well done, 70. That's a big shot. That's a huge shot for the Pangolier. Well deserved. He got it for himself, right? Like, well, only him. And he had it queued up, by the way, as well, so he gets that roll up for free. Gotcha. I'm doing over on the opposite side of the map as well. They're going to smoke without their Dragon Knight. They want to try and connect with him. They, their lanes are in a great position on Team Zero. Mid shoved out, top shoved out. And, and Lowe will be the person to address this. Is this the person you feel safe to jump? It looks like, ah, oh, so unfortunate. The skellies actually show. I think it would be, yeah. Without the skellies showing now, it's, you can see the way they're approaching the creeps with a bit more care. But killing off this man is definitely an option. I saw it's going to get it. I got a good lane ward too. Gonna push up a little bit too far forward. And finally, we get to see the damage out of YSR. Uh, it's too much, but low. Oh, that's even more. Okay. <laughs> Where'd he go? Oh, you got big damage. I got bigger, he says. Oh my god. What do you need on Klings in this game? I feel like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's building Lincoln straight after. Right? The prize is mine. And turns his mind away to Kanda you need to decide. I feel like uh, Kanda is also good for the damage that he can deal. I, I, but this Aghanim Sven, what's stopping him from jumping you? Like the only way you win these fights on King Zero is if you're not showing on Klinks and you initiate on the Sven. Like everyone else, like whoever you initiate on, Sven will cleave right through you. You don't have anything to go through his BKB Aghanim's punch. What do you think about blink, Blinks? Just blink away. <laughs> the meme. I, it's just okay. I was going to say, I don't know how serious you're being right now. Then, I, uh... Tower is under attack. No, I don't know about the blink, Clinks. Mm, this is bad, a Blinks. bit scary. Yeah. Look at the pins off. West and East, they all converge. The Razor gets blown up before anyone reveals. And now 70 as well. Actually clips FY down on the low ground. And this is in a perfect position for the chain control. They're still showing on AR. I mean, no rolling thunder. But DK could jump. Maybe it's a nature's prophet that wants the vision instead. No hesitation. In he goes with the blade mail. And they're going to be able to land the combination onto the spam with the BKB. It's still there. Maybe he can look to TP out afterwards. He will! Ooh, is that oh, he died! Yep. No buyback! This is such a, it's, it's, it's such a crazy game. It's all about who initiates first and... No buyback. Right? This could be... What do they have? They have a tier 2 mid. Okay. Yeah. This is a business side. I feel like. Rosh is alive as well, by the way. So that's something we can opt to go for. Take on side will rush. Where was this team zero before when I watched that? This is uh they, They've been winning they won versus G2 IG, now they're winning versus uh Azure. Radiance bottom barracks has fallen. One of the hit now though. Trying to force us to a game three, stole the gem. We'll set a barracks and back to Roche, like you were saying. Very disciplined play for them. Ages Roche Benel. And there will be no contest. How fast is this ball? Pretty fast. Pretty, pretty 
is a radiant one, but your sweat is still dead. Did you? When he died, he didn't pop God's strength, right? Like he no, just used no, stun. No. Yeah. Maybe with God's strength, he would have lived just from the bonus strength. Be able to uh, be out. It doesn't get shot. Just get, kill Mirana straight up. <clears throat> yeah, I just read it as well. My bad. I was also double checking because I thought it did still. Diamond, I mean, you can't always be right. Dyer are scanning. Yeah, I'm crazy. I literally played him a few days ago and I thought it did. I'm like, yeah, boys, let's go up tank here. Now. F5? <laughs> Onlo? <laughs> That's so crazy. Radiance middle tower. Nine thousand net worth lead. These buildings. Radiance middle tower. Hey, uh, do, 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 do you put the nemesis curse now in things? Do you risk it? Yeah. Okay. He's been uh, carrying it in backpack for quite some time. He actually moved it back, he dropped it, he's like, nah, 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 I died once with this. I'm keeping the specialist array. Which is a pretty nuts one for him, but... Uh, I don't know, I'd like the curse, but... I understand the hesitancy from him. How do you get yourselves back into this game now, AR? Like, the... Uh, the wind has been blown out of their sails. Like the momentum that they were playing with, it's just not there anymore. Ages on Dyer, full set of barracks. Fights have been looking pretty good for, for Team Zero as well. What's the difference maker? I'm thinking like you, you have this butterfly being pretty much completed by Ori. But he's not the, this scary razor that we saw in that last game. It's unkillable and just running down your heroes because there's too much burst coming from the things like you can't do that um yeah i think if he just runs at the clinks anyway he may just die before the static link has like done its job of soaking the clinks as damage yeah i agree, I agree. anger has to go somehow you gotta find the pango jump in Awesome. Going we get out behind. and now low. Oh, they found the thing. Oh, that is the target. That's who you want. And the drag back, they're going to be able to get him. Do a big pick up for them to start the fight, but low. The peak of each ration was all used for it. He's still able to at least get a kill before he dies. Somehow, FY as well leaps over the trees. They've been able to <laughs> isolate the nature's profit too. So ZZQ should go down. In the end. Back, though. Beyond, can he get in them. range? Ooh, help him, someone! Oh no! Activate the Crimson Guard. Fuck! It's fine. Yeah, Enchantress just wishing uh, she had Dragonlance right now, so this shot some more damage. It's too terrible for them, right? The only problem is we just saw what happens when they initiate perfectly on that Tango. Everything was correct. They still can't kill it fast. As Sven loses BKB killing Pango, then he's at the free meat for the Dragon Egg. Yeah, and I mean, you see how they're itemizing now to address like this jump in from Radium. The, the Lincolns, which is, I believe, something you brought up from YSR, so... They're also teeping behind Bark, too. Oh man, what a sprout timing. Stampede, very cool. Nice count out, says ZZQ, and a bit of a tip as well. Once upon a day, you could run over um, with that Stampede. With the no Scepter? Yeah, yeah. The prize is mine. Nice. Nice. 
or 70 seconds. Should I, should I go out and have ages for 9 more seconds? Razor Butterfly is completed, level 20 as well for Fawori. Radiant's middle tower has fallen. I just love the Lincoln's this side. This Lincoln's on. Who's got it? Things got it. Um, also, Lotus are being purchased by Mage Prophet next. Lotus as well on Mirana. Everything against this Sven, basically. This storm hammer, this thing used to be figured out. Like in some previous patches, it was broken, and people would buy Lincolns, they would buy Lotus, they would buy Blink. Maybe they are the fire. They hit the tormentor. They're going to see the Dragonite. We've seen he's been blown up from 40 zero previous in the other fights, but this one might be a little bit different. Beyond his tankier, and this is everything used for a Dragonite. And now Ori is is committed. There's just no escape now. You hope you kill the DK before you get killed off. And that is not the case. He bought out for the butterfly. That is a all or nothing play from them. Yeah, it's a dragon by the way. He heals very damn fast. They don't even have to go blaze the dragon. They can just continue pushing right here. Radiance top tower is under attack. Importantly, no gold strength, no BKB as well, right? So you can probably just. I was gonna say slow siege. Not gonna be slow though. Get the melee barracks. Blue's gonna do his best to protect the F5. They do get the BKB out of YSR. You care? Mm. Yeah, Doesn't seem like it. Yeah, the rain track is not Oh, Sven. Anything to get him out, but nothing. And our 7 is well comes crashing onto Tian Ming. A buyback from this Sven. Now his combo is going to be back up shortly, but there is no one to enable that buyback. No stuns to prevent Team Zero from getting out of the base. So there is a gigantic win condition now. You kill Low one more time, and we go to a game three. I feel like this game is completely on Team Zero to just close it out right now. Uh, if you look at the way the fights are going they can't sustain themselves through them they need every single core on the gradient i feel needs to see that again you can go in you can use your bkb but the moment your bkbs are down you're dead you're gone same goes for razor same goes for Sven. so they need some reset some way of fighting twice Saving the BKBs for a bit later, but you can't even save them. The stuns are way too annoying with Team Zero. No, you have yeah, to I, I, yeah. I was gonna say, I don't know. I, I'm really trying to work out what they're able to do differently. I'm trying to think of items for the Sven. I mean, he's got Revenant's Brute screwed up, Titanic 2. I'm looking at like Refresher because it does kind of... What's CZQ doing? They know. Radiant's top are. Are under under attack. I don't think you can put them. No, you can't. Top yeah, it's been has right, so not really the best considering he has Stapeless. Oh, alright. You can't figure it out, they can't figure it out. <laughs> 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 Nicely done by Team Zero. versus G2IG now versus Azure they take uh, game two they even it out forces us to game three finally we're getting